this particular formula here is a formula that's used for credit card loans and mortgage loans. For for credit and mortgage payments they're using that formula there and just tell them the amount of payments they have to make so suppose on January 1st you have a balance of 4,000 on the credit card whose APR is 22 percent you want to set, pay it off in six years assuming you make no additional charges in the card to the card after January 1st calculate your monthly payments so I have assigned values to my variables here then I plug it in and I simplify my numerator then I simplify my denominator. And make sure I went out enough places here. Because we calculate into the penny. And it gives me my payment to be $110.55. Okay. To find the total payment, you know that they they paid $110 every month for six years. So that's going to be 72 months. So they made 72 payments at $110. So the total amount they paid back on the loan on the credit card loan is $7,959.60. Next thing they ask here, what is the percentage of the pay? What how much is interest? What the percent is? So. <laughs> The total amount they paid back was seventy nine fifty nine. Now, what they paid in that for seventy nine fifty nine is the the loan plus the the interest, which is the amount you pay for using someone else's money. So the amount of the interest was uh, do the difference here. It was seventy nine seventy nine thousand. Seventy-nine thousand uh, minus, minus forty-four hundred times a times a hundred, and the decimals off on that one there. That should be three five five nine nine sixty. There, and then you do the difference on that, and that makes that three five five nine sixty, and you divide it here. The decimal is in the wrong place, and you end up with forty four point seven. That's how much is interest.